how the Islamic civilization changed the space science. From ancient astrolabs to celestial wonders, Islamic civilization's knowledge and innovation have greatly reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. Get ready to explore the profound impact of Islamic scholars on our journey among the stars. Hello everyone and welcome back! Today, we are here to explore the profound impact of Islamic civilization on the field of space science. Islamic contributions to science, technology, and culture have been incredibly influential throughout history. Let's see how. Our story begins during the Golden Age of Islamic civilization, spanning from the 8th to the 14th century. At this time, the Islamic world was a hub of knowledge, intellectual curiosity, and innovation. Scholars, regardless of their background, were encouraged to pursue knowledge and explore various disciplines. The Islamic Golden Age was characterized by the translation and preservation of ancient texts from various civilizations. This cultural exchange allowed Islamic scholars to build upon the knowledge of the Greeks, Indians, Persians, and others, creating a rich tapestry of ideas that would shape the future of science. One of the most significant areas of advancement was astronomy. Islamic astronomers made groundbreaking discoveries, building on knowledge from ancient civilizations like Greece, India, and Persia. They embraced the work of Ptolemy and furthered it with their own observations and mathematical insights. Early Islamic astronomers were instrumental in improving the accuracy of astronomical calculations and predictions. Their contributions to trigonometry and spherical geometry played a crucial role in celestial measurements. One of the ingenious inventions that emerged from the Islamic world was the astrolabe. This remarkable instrument allowed astronomers to measure the position of celestial objects, track time, and navigate accurately. Its use spread across the globe and became an essential tool for astronomers and explorers alike. The versatility of the astrolabe made it not only an astronomical instrument, but also a practical device for various applications, such as determining the Qibla for prayer and navigating vast deserts during trade and exploration. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad was a beacon of knowledge during this era. Scholars from various cultural and religious backgrounds worked together to translate, preserve, and expand upon ancient texts, making them accessible to a wider audience. This center of learning housed some of the brightest minds of the time, facilitating cross-cultural dialogue and knowledge exchange. Scholars from diverse backgrounds contributed to a shared pool of knowledge that transcended borders and contributed to the advancement of science. No discussion of Islamic contributions to space science would be complete without mentioning the works of Al-Khwarizmi. His groundbreaking treatise on algebra revolutionized mathematics, a field crucial for understanding celestial movements and orbits. Al-Khwarizmi's work not only laid the foundation for algebra, but also introduced Hindu-Arabic numerals, which significantly simplified mathematical calculations and became the standard system used worldwide today. Islamic astronomers established observatories across the Islamic world, from Samarkand to Andalusia. These observatories facilitated the meticulous observation of celestial events, leading to the creation of detailed star charts and ephemerides. One of the most prominent observatories of the time was the Mariga Observatory in Persia. Founded by Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, it housed a group of talented astronomers who compiled the most accurate set of astronomical tables, known as the Zij Ilkhani. Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al-Hazan, made significant contributions to optics. His work laid the foundation for the understanding of light, vision, and the behavior of light in lenses and mirrors, which played a crucial role in the development of telescopes. Al-Hazan's influential work, Book of Optics, was translated into Latin during the European Renaissance, shaping the way we perceive light and leading to the development of lenses for telescopes and microscopes. The advances in Islamic astronomy had a lasting impact on the world. Their knowledge spread to Europe during the Middle Ages, sparking the European Renaissance and paving the way for the scientific revolution. Islamic astronomers challenged the prevailing geocentric model of the universe, laying the groundwork for later astronomers like Copernicus to propose the heliocentric model, 
revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. Among the prominent scholars was Al Fargani, also known as Al Fraganus in the Western world, who crafted a seminal work called Elements of Astronomy on the Celestial Motions, circa 833. Distinct from mathematical complexity, this textbook presented Ptolemy's Almagest with updated values from prior Islamic astronomers. Its vast dissemination across the Islamic world culminated in a Latin translation during the 12th century, making it an invaluable resource for European scholars seeking insights into Ptolemaic astronomy. The impact of Al-Fargani's opus extended far beyond the Islamic borders, as it significantly contributed to the proliferation of the Greek astronomical system of Ptolemy in the Western world. Numerous Latin editions of the work circulated widely throughout Europe, captivating scholars from the 12th to the 17th centuries. Al-Sufi, in his magnum opus, The Book of the Fixed Stars, amalgamated Ptolemy's constellation mapping with Arabic astronomical traditions around 964. His richly illustrated book presented each constellation from two perspectives, looking up from Earth and viewing the constellation from outside the sphere of fixed stars. These illustrations became canonical representations of constellations and were translated and widely circulated in Europe, where many of the star names he recorded are still employed today. The Book of the Fixed Stars heralded an epoch of comprehensive documentation, encompassing more constellations and stars than ever before, even including some of the earliest recorded observations of galaxies. Among these records, Al-Sufi unknowingly identified what we now know as the Andromeda Galaxy, initially mistaken as a star adjacent to the belt of Andromeda. Abu Mashar, an Islamic astrologer in this era, held an armillary sphere in the frontispiece of his most renowned work. It is essential to discern that historical perspectives of astronomy and astrology differed from contemporary connotations. During Abu Mashar's time, studying stars' movements and their potential influence on human events was regarded as an empirical practice, rather than the superstition it is often considered today. Abu Mashar's invaluable translations of Greek texts, particularly Aristotle's works, played a pivotal role in disseminating Aristotle's ideas within the Islamic world and later in Europe. The translations into Latin during the 12th century received great acclaim from medieval and Renaissance intellectuals, contributing to the dissemination of knowledge between Islamic and European civilizations. Fast forward to modern times, and we find that the curiosity and thirst for knowledge that characterized the Islamic Golden Age continue to inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers in the Muslim world and beyond. Today, many universities and research institutions in Islamic-majority countries are actively involved in space science and exploration. They have launched satellites, conducted space missions, and even made plans for manned missions to explore other celestial bodies. The Islamic world's passion for space science is evident in their involvement in international collaborations, contributing to space missions aimed at exploring distant planets, understanding our own planet better, and unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Additionally, various space agencies in the Muslim world are investing in space technology and education, inspiring the next generation to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM) fields. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow explorers, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Until next time, keep exploring and keep dreaming.